That is incredible bullshit. This is Artifacts of Mars. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. This is Geology In. You would think they would know something about uh, this subject, but they don't. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm getting a little angry. And there is an abstract on this critter. Now, what you're seeing, they claim frozen in amber for a hundred million years. Claim it's an alien looking insect. No it isn't. I'll read what they say and then we're gonna talk about what this critter is. Around a hundred million years ago, an alien looking insect with a bizarre head and long legs likely crawled on trees in what is now Burma. Insect is so strange that researchers say not, a new, not only a new species, but also belongs to its own scientific order. But it does belong to its own scientific order. I'll get to that. Living in the time of dinosaurs, the insect was tiny and weightless. There's two specimens of this new species exist, both of them preser preserved in Burmese amber. Strangest thing about this insect is that it looks so much like the way aliens are often portrayed. George Poignar, an emeritus professor of entomology at Oregon State University, said in a statement, With its long neck, big eyes, and a strange oblong head, I thought it resembled E.T. This is an entomologist? I'm stunned. I'm stunned that he didn't recognize it. Critter from the past is not extinct. No, it isn't. It represents one of about a million known species of insects. But since it's so distinctive, it is defined the new order of insects, boasting the number, uh, boosting the number of insect orders up by one, according to Oregon State University. It's not a new order, you idiots! YOU IDIOTS! I recognized it instantly! <coughs> they likely eat things like mites and fungi, the university said, as it probably was omnivorous. The insect had a number of features that just don't match any insect species that I know, Pointer said in a statement. That is a lie. I had never seen anything like it before. Like it. It appears to be unique in the insect world, and after considerable discussion, we decided to take its place in a new order. And take its place in a new order. It's not a new order of insects! You idiots! The order is called Dermaptera! For crying out loud! I'm getting angry! Ultimately, what makes it strange to insects triangular shaped head with vertex on neck and alien looking ball shaped heads on the sides. Bull shaped, sorry. And neck glands that secreted what could have been a predator repelling a chemical. When I first saw this fossil and could not believe my eyes, Pointer said in a video describing the discovery, I thought it to be an alien. No! No! You're supposed to be an entomologist! It's a... I'll show you in a minute. And here's the name they came up with. Uh, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting a little angry here. This is a common known insect. I don't know if they have them in Burma or not, but... An exotic wingless insect in mid-Cretaceous Myanmar amber is described as... A.E. Now in the order of A.E. Order. No! No! It's in the order of Dermaptera! Enough of this! It's an earwig! Gee whiz!
It's called an earwig. I'm sorry I'm yelling, but I'm getting a little angry at these people. Kingdom Animalia, Biome Anthropoda, Subphylum, Hexapoda, Class Insecta, Order Dermaptera. It's an earwig! What is wrong with you people? Pinchers on its rear end um, are there for copulation, by the way. They don't, uh, they're not for defense, they're for sex. I can't believe this. They can't be this ignorant. I don't know what's going on here. I laugh at liberals, but I'm genuinely angry at these people. It's a near wing. Can't you understand that? It goes through incomplete metamorphosis if uh, memory serves. It's a minor ag agricultural pest. It gets its name because people believe that they crawl in people's ears at night. They don't. That's a myth. They're harmless to humans. They are a bit of a pest agriculture. I don't know what's going on here. I'm stunned. It's an earwig! Can't you people understand that? How do you get the beer? Entomologist, and you don't know what an earwig looks like! Oh my god, this is nuts! Sorry folks, I'm gonna scream myself hoarse. I, I can't deal, I'm sorry. I do have a background in this. I'm not an entomologist, but I do have a background. It's an earwig. Duh! 